Hello and welcome to another episode of Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health. For those of you who don't know what this is, it's a chatty get ready with me that premieres every Saturday 3pm UK time. And the intention is that the live chat group become like a support group, um, get together, catch up, however you want to uh, use it. But it's there for everybody. It's just a place where you can chat with other people, support each other. Mental health has always been extremely important, but especially in the times we're living at the moment with this pandemic. So yeah, that's what we're here for. Um, I always do a chatty get ready with me. Um, there's quite often some new to me products. Yeah, let's get right on in. So I've already done my skincare and I'm wearing my favourite lip balm, which is the Madage Beauty Lip Envy Lip Balm, Strawberry. I love this. So I know a few of you wanted me to keep you updated on how I'm getting on with the Madage Beauty Foundation. Um, so we're going to be using it today along with the concealer and I'm trying it on a different primer. So the primer I'm using today is the e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. It's like a, a gel. Uh, quite sticky. <laughs> I wanted to test out the foundation on different primers um, just to see how it holds up. This is extremely sticky this primer. It's really good for gripping the foundation so I thought it would be a good one to try the Madage Beauty foundation with. Okay, so now we're sticky enough, I'm going to go in with the foundation. So how are you guys doing? I had quite a meltdown yesterday, I have to admit, um, but I have pulled myself together today because I can't, oh. I don't want this to beat me. Um, but yesterday I had a a big wobble, I suppose you might call it. And yeah, so now it is Easter weekend. What are your plans? Um, I've already eaten half of my Easter egg. Even though Sunday is meant to be when you eat them. I felt like I needed it. <laughs> so that's my excuse anyway, I'm sticking with it. So what what do you guys have planned? Anything exciting or as exciting as you can during the pandemic? I do miss having young kids where you can do the, uh, the Easter egg hunt. I used to love doing that, hiding the Easter eggs around the house. Everything is all more exciting when you've got young kids. So I guess now I just wait to become a nanny. Just not quite yet. <laughs> so now we're on to second impressions of this foundation. And again, it still just looks like skin. Yeah, it leaves a really kind of natural glow. Okay, so second impressions, I am still loving it. So moving on to concealer. Again, I've got the Madage Beauty concealer again. Um, I have, I should have said this, I have the shade Medium Light Porcelain in both the foundation and the concealer. So let's find the areas we need concealer. Which, to be fair, isn't much. So yeah, again, second impression. I would definitely say this concealer is full coverage. I think it has really, really good coverage. But yet still leaving a natural finish. I love this. Yeah, 
So I've been planning my new releases and sneak peeks video. Like what I'm going to include. And oh my god, there is so many amazing products coming out. I don't know how I'm going to not include everything. I'm trying a different brush for my uh, under eyes. I've seen a few people use these for under eyes and uh, it's worked out pretty well. So this foundation and concealer um, did wear beautifully throughout the day. Um, I wore it for was it six, seven hours? Um, I know it's not the longest time, but it still looked absolutely beautiful. So I'm wondering, with a more tacky primer, whether it'll... Uh... So although I'm getting drier patches, I do still have relatively oily skin. And I did find that my oils did start to come through a bit. But it didn't break up the foundation and um, they weren't they weren't to the point where I wouldn't have gone out like it if that makes sense but I did only lightly powder it down because I really wanted just to see what the foundation itself was like um, Yeah, this foundation and concealer is just absolutely beautiful. Alright, I'm just going to quickly powder powder my under eyes. I'm using the OPV Beauty Loose Setting Powder Translucent. It's a really nice powder. I literally, I just have the tiniest bit in the lid there just because I really don't like to over powder my under eyes. Um, I find that where I have older skin, I don't want to emphasize the fine lines. I use just enough to set it. And that is it. So for cream contour, I'm just gonna go in with my Sosu contour stick in Cool. I love this. It is just such, it's kind of the perfect contour shade for me, I think. I just think it blends so nicely. Yeah, I have a couple of contour sticks I really enjoy. I, I really enjoy the one from Kiko Milano also but i think this is my favorite one this tends to be the one i reach for the most she gets perfect contour color for me but also it just blends so beautifully and lasts really well i found this this brush has been so much better for cream contour. It is the Spectrum CO2, um, especially for doing the nose area. So for cream blush, I do have a new one to try. I have the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek, just a Lip and Cheek, um, in Work. And I'm just using my um, Mitchell F1 brush um i haven't been mentioning what brushes i've been using recently so let me know if that's something you'd like me to do because i did used to <laughs> i don't know if lazy is the right word for it i just forget oh this this is nice It's not quite as overly pigmented as I thought it was going to be, which is not a bad thing because it makes it easier not to go overboard. I don't really mind overboard. I uh, I do like a 
really blushed look but I'm always hearing people raving about the milk makeup products and um, well first impressions I think this has just gone on beautifully kind of melted into the skin love it so I've really been loving cream products recently I don't know why I think partly because I think where I've got older skin the cream products are kinder I don't know if that's the right word <laughs> there but yeah I feel like they're they're kinder they don't age me so I'm going to powder down with the OPV the OPV beauty loose setting powder translucent and I'm just going to set the face I do like to kind of press the powder in rather than sweep it. Okay, so I'm just coming up closer so that you can see. Again, it's uh, powdered down beautifully. And yeah, okay. It's looking really good, <laughs> really, really good. So whilst I think this foundation would be great for all types of skin, I think in particular older skin, I think it's, uh, I have older skin, I have the fine lines, etc. I think the more lightweight foundations tend to just look nicer on older skin. So yeah, not only is it lightweight, but it also is medium to full coverage, which I highly appreciate because I really struggle with breakouts and acne and acne scarring um, so I need a full coverage just well, I say need for my confidence I need a full coverage and so with it being lightweight and full coverage bingo I'm gonna quickly nip off pop on my eyebrows and then I will come back to continue with you Brows on, I've been trying out this Catrice Slimmatic Ultra Precise Brow Pencil Waterproof and I have it in the shade Cool Brown. Ever since I heard my friend Nikki Raven talking about how good this is, I had to try it and I do have to say, I'm liking how my brows have turned out. So, so far, so good. Okay, so just about to do contour and bronzer and we have a poppy here to say hello. Just say hello, say hi. <laughs> you decided to join in, have you? You don't need any makeup, you're beautiful just the way you are. For any of you that haven't met Poppy, here she is. <laughs> this is my Poppy. Yes, you are, yeah. Now, I need you to go and lay down so I can finish my makeup. Yes. Yeah, you're going to say goodbye and go lay down? Yeah? Right, say bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't need kisses, but thank you. I'm going to go lay down now. Alright, I'm just going to get this one to go and lay down, and then I'll come back. Okay, sorry for that interruption. So for powder contour, I have the Kaleidos Charisma Contour Palette in Cool and Lights. So I use the largest shade at the bottom for contouring around my face. I don't know why that sentence was so difficult to say. Um, this one in the middle I used to contour my nose and then we have the shade up the top for brightening anywhere that needs brightening. So let's do the nose first. So I've been really really enjoying this uh, contour palette. And I know that my friend Debbie of Final Beauty she has this and uh, she was using it in her recent video that I watched. It is really nice. Everything I have tried from Kaleidos so far, I have really enjoyed. So just using that bigger shade down the bottom to just going over where the cream contour was placed. 
I think that um, the Milk Makeup Cream Blush, I think you would need to go in a bit heavier if you wanted it to really show up. because now it's powdered down it's just a real well if you like a natural glow then this is perfect i do have to say recently i've been really really loving um spectrum face brushes i use them quite a lot they just seem to be kind of uh, an across the board reliable brush. And I'm liking this one for contour because I think it's a little bit more precise. So get rid of the extra chin. I'm hoping this week to get round to starting filming my collection and possible declutter videos. I think I'm going to start with base and work my way up that way. And for bronzer, I'm going to be going in with my Nabla Skin Bronzing in the shade June. This one here. It's a beautiful shade and it's very difficult to go overboard with it because it is such a buildable formula. It doesn't, it's not a bam in your face pigment or anything like that. Although where I'm using this slightly smaller brush, I'm using a Spectrum BO2. I found that although I still have to build it up, it doesn't take quite as long where it's a kind of more dense, precise brush. Yeah, I think I have to say this bronzer is possibly my favourite bronzer. Yeah, I really enjoy that bronzer. Just think it just leaves a really nice sun-kissed look to the skin. So moving on to the eyes now, the eye primer I'm going to be using is the Be Perfect Perfect Prime Eyeshadow Priming Base. It's quite a mouthful, but I find this one is just a really nice, it's got enough, I find this has got enough coverage um, to cover any of the kind of veins showing through and any redness on my eyelids, but it's not drying at all. Um, which I appreciate because whilst my skin can be quite oily my eyes are not the skin around my eyes is actually quite dry so I've added um, some kind of new skincare products in and I do feel they're helping helping improve my skin I think where where I am so kind of stressed out because of uh, like being in pain all the time and not sleeping enough that it does show up in my skin it does cause breakouts hmm. it's a really nice eyeshadow primer again it's one of my favorites so for today, especially with it being Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health, green is my my favourite colour for that. And I want to dip back into my Lucky Bunny MV palette. Look at that. Look at those green shades. So yes, I'm going to be having a dip in here. Just deciding what to do first. Okay. So I'm first going to go in my crease with Chloe. Yeah, this is definitely not a first impression. I love this palette. It's 
one of my favourites. I definitely want to get more from uh, Lucky Bunny Cosmetics. I think uh, I just think this palette is just absolutely stunning. And I know that she still has a few more of the uh, Seven Deadly Sins to go. So I believe she has done, she's done four now. So there's another three to come. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing what they are. I haven't heard anything about when they will be releasing as yet or when the next one will be releasing um, but I definitely have my eyes peeled for it. I do really want the purple one so I would really like to get the purple one so I think when when they bring out their next palette that will be when I will be placing an order Cannot be a green. Research has also shown that the more natural colours are calming. Things like natural scenery. So uh, I think that probably explains my my love of green for feeling calm and I don't know. I'm probably just rambling. I'm currently on a break from my um, uni course due to everything that's been going on medically. Um, I can't concentrate enough to learn anything. Um, I'm very much looking forward to getting back into it once I am uh, once I beat this costochondritis. Look at that. So yeah, I think these uh, collection and declutter videos are going to be a real tough one for me. Um, since I did my last ones, obviously there's been my birthday, Christmas, etc, etc. Black Friday, my birthday and Christmas. All of it. So... Uh, I definitely need to do a declutter but I hate getting rid of things I hate it so much right so I am next going in with Jade the deeper green this one there is a bit of uh, kick up in the pan but I don't mind that Again, I'm using my favourite brush for these deepening ones. I think it's the is it MC2, ME2, the little tiny one. It does just such a fantastic job of deepening without any harsh lines. Look at that. And blending it up and into the other green there. I think this palette is such a beautiful, beautiful palette. I love the colour selection. I love that it's not just greens. You've got kind of your, your greys and it's more of an aubergine kind of colour. I just think it's a really nice kind of well thought out colour story so for under the eyes I'm just going to go back in with a bit of jade the deeper green there and just use that to smudge there my lower lash line just to connect the upper and lower lids So 
So I've decided not to use glitter primer today. I want to try just spraying the brush. So I think for the very outer part, I'm going to go in with Dallas. And place that on the very kind of outer part there. Taking a slight angle. And as it's kind of very mossy green. And then just using the other side of the same brush, I'm going to go into Chastity, the brighter green shimmer. And then again, spray the brush. And use this for the rest of the eyelid. Look at that. What a stunning colour. This is one of my absolute favourite shades in my collection. I love this. And then just going in with some of the dark green matte jade. I'm just going to kind of blend in the outer V there and then to just buff out the lower lash line I'm going to go with a little bit of Trinity which is the other lighter green. So for the inner corner, I want to try out, I have this pigment from Peaches and Cream. It is, uh, let me just take it out of the box. I absolutely love the packaging. Look at this. We come in peach. Love it. Um, so the pigment I have is Super Freak. And it is this really beautiful, almost neon kind of yellow. I haven't even opened this yet. I have now. So it's just a loose pigment. So I have just a little Morphe brush. I'm just going to spray it and then pick up a small amount of pigment. And I want to place that in the inner part of my lid there. Oh, look at that. That goes so well. It's almost like a neon yellow. Oh, I'm really liking this. I don't know why I held off so long trying this. It's just because my box of shame has so much stuff in it. It's just getting round to uh, trying everything. Well, I do have to say, for a loose pigment, this is really, really easy to use. And I am loving this colour. Wow. But yeah, I would definitely recommend this if you like a loose pigment this is just one of the most neon pigments i've found that just looks beautiful so yeah i think we can safely say i am a huge huge fan of this just, just look at that wow i'm gonna nip off quickly and finish my eyes, liner, lashes, etc. And then I will come back and we will continue. 
Okay, so that's the eyes finished. For my wing, I used the Altitude Cosmetics Cake It Liner in Harmony. In my waterline is the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in Extra Frosting. The mascara is the Madage Beauty Madeja Lash Mascara. And the lashes are from Artitude Cosmetics in the Style Boss. So now on to blush. I have a new one to try. It's from Odin's Eye and it is their Alva Flower Blusher in Sweet Tulip. And, and she looks like this. I've heard so many good things about these blushes from Odin's Eye. Wow. That is a lot more pigmented than I was expecting. I'd literally just heard so many good things. I had to try one. You know, I think even for me, this is a really tap your, your brush off. I did get one of the darker colours because I wanted something that was a bit more unique to my collection. Yeah, I think this is. Yeah, that is. That's nice. It looks nice and smooth. I love that colour. And I love the packaging on these. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. You've got your little, like, uh, what's her name? You've got your little fairy there. Absolutely. The artwork is stunning. Absolutely stunning. And even down to the imprint in the blusher. It's got the little fairy there beautiful. So for highlight I'm going to be going into the Kaleidos Space Age Highlighter in Solar Sailor and it's a really nice yellow highlighter. Beautiful. Now I'm really loving all the products I have from Kaleidos. I'm definitely looking forward to trying more. So I do have the uh, I do have the Skywalker highlighter, and I really enjoy that too. That one is more glittery than this. So if you don't like if you don't like a glitter highlighter, then you probably wouldn't like that. This one is not as glittery. Um. Such a beautiful colour. I'm just going to blend that in with the blusher brush to make sure they're nicely blended together. And I'm also going to use Solar Sailor for my brow bone highlights. I think it is going to be perfect with the green. And also where we have the yellow on the inner corner and in the waterline, it kind of ties it all together nicely. So for lipstick, I'm going to go in with the Melt Matte Lipstick in the shade On The Go. More of a nude. So yeah, here is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Or if you are here in the live chats, let me know what you think. <laughs> The foundation and concealer have again gone on beautifully. They look beautiful on the skin. So yes, yeah, still loving those. 
The blusher from Odin's Eye. Wow. It's got some pigment. It is beautiful. Really beautiful. I can see what people have been raving about. This loose pigment from Peaches and Cream. Oh my word. I am in love with this. It's a beautiful kind of acid yellow. I, I don't know how else you describe it. I just think it is such a just such a stunning colour. Absolutely stunning. I do have another loose pigment from Peaches and Cream. I think Gatsby it might be called. But yeah, I do have another pigment from Peaches and Cream. But yeah, this one, super impressed. Super, super impressed. I wish I tried it sooner. I love it. Yeah, I think this lipstick goes pretty perfectly. I didn't want to go with a bright lipstick because I really wanted the eyes to be the focus. I love my greens and I am loving this yellow pigment. So, uh, yeah, I went with what I would consider to be my perfect neutral. Yeah, I do love these bullet lipsticks from Melt. I have a few eight shades, <laughs> I believe. Um, yeah, I really, really love them, both the matte and the ultra matte. I don't find them too drying and I find they last really, really well. So if you are here as this premieres, then hi, thank you so much for joining me. I love my Saturday Karma Chameleon get togethers. I love chatting to you guys and I love how it brings you all together to chat amongst yourselves. It is exactly what I wanted for the Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health. I couldn't be any more happy with how it's going and it wouldn't be going so well without you guys so thank you so so much for supporting me in this. So if you are watching this at a later date thank you so much for watching and uh, if you've liked this video please give it a like, thumbs up, it really helps me out. If you are new around here then I hope you'll consider sticking around. I do a lot of really colourful looks and every Saturday 3pm UK time I have Karma Chameleon which is this really lovely get together. It's just wonderful. The comment section is full of wonderful people. I'm also a huge supporter of indie brands so if all of that sounds like something that you'd be interested in then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I upload. So all that's left to say is thank you so so much for either joining me at the premiere or watching at a later date. Thank you. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.